Do you need something? Let's build it! Hello and welcome to the 12th part of the Waterlost Sailing Canoe building series. The boat is done, you saw it in the last episode, the building is completed, but today I'm going to install all of the hardware parts on the boat. What I also did, quickly going to show you, is I built a very, very simple canoe seat. Um, it's just some hardwood that I glued together using epoxy and then I took some of these uh, foot straps and I simply tacked it on with uh, these little, I don't know how you call this, tucker in German, I don't know the English word. Um, worked pretty well, it's super comfy and I'm going to install a system in the boat in order to make this adjustable so you can pull it forward and backward and you can pitch it up and down and I'm going to show you that when I install it. So one of the first things I did was to install these brackets for the mast to sit on so it doesn't fall out and wiggle around when it's on the boat. Simply secure it with a pin. I just run up the mast, comes back down and attaches to here. Simply pull through and an eight knot. There we go. So you see the sail is simply bound onto here and then can be stretched back here with a little V creep. So that's the halyard done, it's up there. Second line running up is the lazy jack, so it basically runs up, comes down again and then it attaches to the boom on the other side, up to this line right here. And what this does is if you lower the halyard, it's going to keep the boom in place so the boom doesn't come down with the halyard, it's very practical. And then in order to keep the boom down, have the Cunningham or the downhole or however you want to call it down here on the other side. Here, up there, and down again. Then pull back here. You can see the boom gets towed in place. And to control the entire thing, of course, you need to sheet. If you move the mask backwards, this block is going to be attached back there where the black line is lying around at the moment. So I can simply detach it with the carabiner. The main sheet all done. Simple 2 to 1 ratio should be enough for the sail. Use these soft shackle blocks, which are quite nice to hang on because they grab on the entire boom and not only on two screws. So, then for the reefing, we have two reef points in the sail, two lines going down onto two blocks, both are tied up on the other side here, so they are 2 to 1 ratios as well. They go back into those cleats back there. If I want to reef, I simply take out this one, 
pull on one of these lines so it's going to be pulled downwards like there have to adjust the halyard and the uh, downhole and then I can strap it in attach this one to one of these points up there and then I have a tiny little sail for big winds uh, here you can also see the lazy jack so if I lower the halyard up there this will come down but the boom will stay at its place because the lazy jack is holding it in place. So again, same thing for the mizzen mast. The halyard goes to the yard, goes all the way up to the top of the mast. Put the mast in this hole. Here is the block which takes it under deck, and then it goes under deck to the front here, and then into this cleat right here. The downhole simply and not through here and then it goes up to this block and then down into there to the front to tie it up. So back here the halyard I shackled to the stand-up block because the hole there was not wide enough for this 8mm rope. Put a little shackle of dynamo to the inner part of this rope and then bound it onto there with a file stack. I think this should be okay otherwise I'm going to tie a soft shackle and then attach it to that. And then simply through this block there we go, through that stand up down here, and into the cockpit. The red and green one you see here is tied to a weekly down there, it goes up through the deck to here, and will eventually go back here to the rudder, which I still have to touch with the pintles that are coming from England, hopefully during the next week. Yeah. Other than that, I think, installed these hatches here for the cover to be locked in place which is laying down into the inside there. I still need to attach these hatches here inside there as well to hold in place these mirage drive covers. So I have one for mirage drive installed and I have another one I can put it in there when I don't have the mirage drive in there. And these are going to be secured with these things as well. So if there should for some reason water be entering the front compartment, you can open that thing and let the water out. Wind picked up quite a bit, I'm going to reef the sail. Too bad, I never reached the sail before, or a lug sail like this. I don't know if you have an idea how to roll this more properly, uh, that would be nice. So you can just write that down below because I think that this sail, well, it will not break, but it's it's not the best for the sail. But yeah, like this, I think I should be able to sail on pretty high wind as well. I packed up the boat yesterday quite quickly because the wind picked up more and now I have it sitting in the garage again and everything is finished except for the rudder pintles which are returning to England because apparently they haven't been able to deliver it and I don't know what happened but they should arrive in a few weeks then. So uh, what changed from yesterday? I installed these two pieces, one left one right 
to um, be able to take a mooring line from the mid from midships and run it to the cleat at the bow. Added this little bungee cord here, which when I take down the sails, I can simply take and then put the sails, the boom and the yard into there so they are fixed to the boat and won't fall off into the water. And I added a little cleat for the aft sheet, so you can just put that in there and leave it and concentrate on the main sheet. And I installed this bag right here, simply screwed it in, should be quite nice. And what took most of the time was installing these little thingies here for the seat. But now you can take the seat and slide it around and then put it in like this and like that set up where in the boat you want to sit. And also I added those pins there. That way, chips on both sides. I can adjust the pitch of the seat. Like if I want it like this, with the front a little higher, or down in there flat with the boat. It's quite a simple system, and but I think it should work fine. Didn't cost a buck. It's all stuff that I had laying around, so I can test everything out, and then when I know what I want, I can buy a, an expensive or professional seat or build myself one. Oh, I got grip tape in here in the front so you can stand there without slipping around. Installed the two inspection ports and these clips. But apart from that, um, I think that's all for the hardware layout. If you have any questions on the hardware side, please ask them down below in the comments. Also make sure to leave a like and share this video with your sailor mates. In a little shorter episode, but I hope as soon as the rudder pindles arrive, um, I can put the water, in, the water into the boat. Yeah, right Lucas. The boat into the water, that way around. And then I'll see you again when I'm on the lake, hopefully. Until then, bye bye.